So this is me swallowing my pride, standing in front of you, saying I'm sorry for that night. And I go back to December all the time. It turns out freedom ain't nothing but missing you, wishing I'd realized what I had when you were mine. I go back to December all the time. Hey Philosopher, I hope you have all been great. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, the day after I did my last videos, uh, I woke up realizing why I had been so tired and achy and just not myself. And it became very obvious I was actually dealing with the underlying effects of a virus, bug, whatever it's called. Um, apparently my brother had been hanging out a little too close and I didn't realize I was going to get sick from him. So, uh, it's been a little over a week since my last video, actually probably closer to two weeks, but I've been waiting for my voice to clear up so that I could talk and sing, um, more normally. I am basically over with it now, so I figured it was the best time possible to do another video before it got too much later in the year. Can you believe it's December already? It's, I, I am shocked by that. Those last few months have just flown by. Um, you will have to forgive me if I'm a little bit rummy, rambly, uh, not all completely here. I am for the first time doing a video with an active headache. Probably not the best idea, but, um, I have a little bit of free time right now and I have been really struggling to get a free time to do a video so I had to grab it. I took some Excedrin and it's taken the very top edge off of the headache. Hopefully I will be good. Just forgive me if I act not quite right. <laughs> um, I do have some interesting updates to show this week. Last time I was struggling greatly with a stitching slump. I am very, very happy to say the stitching slump has been banished to the very far corners of Never Never Land. I hope. At least for the time being. Um, I do not have any progress on any of my current previous uh, whips because I decided to stitch some Christmas gifts in order to offset some expenses this time of year, which had been kind of uncomfortable. Um, I figured if I stitched some gifts, that would kind of help me out a little bit, plus make my gifts a little more personable and hopefully more special to the recipients. So anyway, I've got, uh, I chose to do four gifts, and I had the first two stitched within a week. So I'm happy with that. That really encouraged me to think I was almost halfway done with my gift making uh, in just one week. So anyway, I've, I've finished two of them already. I have two going. One is going to take me a little bit longer um, because I'm kind of doing this in secret and so I have to snatch my, um, my time when I can be completely alone and, and all that. So I'm getting smaller snippets of time to stitch on that. And the other one is going by so quickly, I could have another finish in the next day or two. It's just going really, really quick. So I'm, I'm feeling very motivated, very excited about that, that I'm not far from finishing. I decided uh, about a week ago that if everything went smoothly, I may put fifth gift in the pile to stitch. Uh, I'm not quite decided on that yet because I am getting down to the wire a bit and this last week, we've kind of had a um, an emergency renovation that we've had to take on in the house. And so things are a little out of sorts, a little bit out of place, and a little bit frustrating. And I've had a little less time to work on, on the stitching than I would like. So I will see. I'm not fully decided on that yet. All right, so I'm going to start with showing my two Christmas gift finishes. And... 
this will be pretty quick. This was the first one I stitched. And this one took me two days to stitch it. And if you've watched me on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, I have already posted this on there. But I know some of you do not follow Instagram, so this is for you. Um, you know, we don't make, what is it? We don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. My brother really likes Bob Ross. I'm speaking a little quieter now just in case someone in the family could possibly be here and overhearing me right now. I don't think so. Um, this one's so cute. I don't know, it makes me smile to look at it. Um, I bought this pattern off of Etsy from Good Morning Maui. And it was called Accidents. I just thought that one was so cute. I said it only took me two days to stitch it. Um, and I did outline the um, the easel because it's white on white and there was no outline. So I added the outline just so it would pop a little bit better. So that one is number one of the finishes so far. And then this is number two. And this one's called Out of Time also from Good Morning Maui and you can read that I can't read it backwards I'm not good at reading backwards plus I don't have glasses on uh, so are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean uh, one of my other brothers really likes Back to the Future so I hope you'll like this one again I did not consider the white on white so I had to do my own bit of outlining on there to make him and his hair stand out. But I think that one turned out really cute. Uh, they were they were fast stitches, which is what I need. And I think I think uh, the quickness of them is what kind of helped me get over my stitching slump. I really needed something to just be fast and stress free, and I think that worked really good for that. So this is the third one. And I'll pop one of my one of my uh, Q snap things off. This is the third one that I am still working on right now, and you can probably guess what this is. Let me put this behind it. Um, also for another brother who is a big fan of video games, and. He likes both generations, or maybe all generations, of Mario. So this is the outline silhouette of a modern-day Mario, filled in with uh, retro Mario in the center. I think it's so fun, and I really hope he's going to love it. Um, because it's, it's taking a little bit longer to stitch than I thought, but it's been an easy stitch, which is surprising because of the uh, intricate pattern down here. It's been a pretty quick stitch and a pretty easy stitch and I've actually enjoyed it so another day or two and I should be finished with this I just have his arm coming down and his head uh, yeah I hope this will be done in a day or two and I'm really encouraged with that one as well I've probably been stitching on a little too long because I woke up today and my eyes were both bloodshot <laughs> and um, it's not helping with the headache but I really want to get it done so that the stress is off so anyway, the fourth thing I am not going to show you just because uh, of people watching my video, the recipient may see this and I, I'm just um, going to avoid that. My family did not do Thanksgiving because I was not feeling up to doing the cooking and my mom wasn't feeling up to taking on the rest of the cooking because I wasn't feeling up to helping. So we just said maybe we'll do it next week instead. We didn't end up doing anything. Um, the extent of our uh, Thanksgiver thanks Thanksgiving <laughs> uh, was a pumpkin pie that someone gave to my dad as a thank you, and so the family ate some pumpkin pie. I didn't have any because it wasn't gluten free, but um, yeah, so that was a little disappointing that we didn't really get to enjoy Thanksgiving normally. Uh, I love the Thanksgiving meal, except, you know, I don't get the normal stuffing and the rolls and all that, but, but the, the meal is good in any respect. Um, 
I really hope we can get done with this emergency renovation type stuff, get this all cleared up so that we can have uh, a nice Christmas. Hopefully it won't take more than about a week from now to be done, which is really cutting it close. But yeah, I'm really hoping that will be better. Um, I went out, I, I mustered up the energy to go out on Black Friday. We didn't leave until about 5.30 in the evening because... Uh, we didn't want to deal with all the traffic. We knew most of the traffic would be over and done with by the earlier part of the day because all the stores were open on Thanksgiving, which I don't like, but mm, I, my opinion didn't matter to anybody. So we went out about 5.30 in the evening on Black Friday, and we went to Michael's, and we got in on the 40% off the DMC, and that's when I bought all the floss for the project um, that I am now stitching. I was really happy because when I went on Etsy to, to look for the patterns, I had, had them in my cart for a while before I bought them because I had just been thinking about it and mulling over it. I went in the cart and they were all on sale for Black Friday, so I got my patterns for half price. So all of those four patterns I got for about $10, which is, I would, that, that was great. I was really happy about that. And then, um... I went to get the floss for 31 cents a skein at Michael's. I happened to go into the next aisle over from the floss. And because my coupon was 40% off of every regular price item, my total purchase, I was looking in the fabric to see what I could stitch these pictures on. I found a lone piece, a lone rolled piece of 28 count white Monaco. It says Monaco Lugana. I didn't know they were the same thing. So I'm just going to call it Lugana. The, um, the one lone roll, I didn't know if it would work or not. So I just grabbed it because my coupon was good and I was in a hurry. And I grabbed it. It ended up being just over $3. And so I, when I got it home and I did all my calculations and wrote out a graph and how much I needed for each project. It was exactly the same, the exact to the millimeter size piece of fabric I needed for all four projects, which means all four projects, each one only cost me 83 cents for the fabric for it. That was really, that was really exciting. I was very happy about that. Um, also picked up a couple new fob fob uh, pieces for making new fobs, and I got a one gift there. So I did really well. Uh, the whole store there was like tons of stuff for seventy percent off. I was shocked. So I got a couple things, and it really that was fun. Um, and then because the strip mall where Michaels is has we make a day of it usually, or at least half a day of it, because there's Ulta, there's Marshalls, there's Michaels, there's Ross, there's Target, there's all these different places that we like to go. And so, <clears throat> and yes, my voice isn't quite perfect yet. Uh, and so we kind of made a, a little bit of a round of all the, all the different stores we liked going into. We looked at Marshalls to see if we could find a gift or two in there, because I'm, I'm on the lookout for some Christmas gifts still. And I found two things. I did really, really good in there. I only bought myself two things because opportunity, when it strikes, you, you, you grab it. So the two things that I bought was, this is my favorite brand of body care products. Um, and I've only found them this year. So I have, well, maybe I've known them a little bit longer than that. Maybe we found them about September or October of, last year but if you've not tried the Beekman 1802 brand it is a brand that uses more natural ingredients and there's goat milk in all of the items I found this at the Marshalls um, which is this was one of the fragrances I really liked and they just discontinued it so when I went in there and found that they had a big old hand cream in there for $3.99 in a discontinued flavor that I really liked and was not able to get more of through the place I normally buy it, I grabbed it. If you've not tried this stuff, it's amazing stuff. And I gotta turn it the proper direction. If you've not tried Beekman 1802, you need to check it out. 
they have a website or they're on evine um this stuff is like it's like um it's so amazing it just absorbs right into my skin and it's awesome and i am advertising for the products i am ad advocating it's amazing stuff my skin absolutely loves it it soaks it right in it does not leave me greasy at all it's amazing I will use this all over my body I use their soap on my body and my skin has never been smoother never been better never been more calm so check out Beekman 1802 it's awesome stuff if you just use the bars of soap which is their number one selling product the bars of soap if you put a little bit on your hands and you wash your hands with it you feel like you have just put on a light layer of lotion it leaves your hands so nice and soft and I can click see it's not leaving me all greasy it's awesome stuff I'm fully absorbed and it, my skin just feels amazing with this stuff okay enough of that um they have tons of different flavors too they've got um, my favorite one which is ylang ylang they've got heirloom rose which has also just been discontinued you might be able to find some of that somewhere they've got uh, vanilla absolute which is another favorite really nice this is the other thing I found there and I bought it for absolutely no known purpose I just saw it and had to have it and I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it okay this is Ole Cassini these are crystal and they are really pretty leaves I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but when I saw them and I'll show you one when I saw them I just wanted that and they've got this really cool um, Aurora Borealis type look on the back and they're just so pretty they weren't damaged they weren't all scratched up they were just so pretty and goodness gracious there were only four dollars so I grabbed those they come they came in this really cute little um, satiny lined box I'm gonna use them to decorate somewhere in my house because they're just so pretty um, I love old Lake Cassini things I bought a couple things from them before um, I have a couple paperweights that are ones in the shape of a heart ones in the shape of a princess cut diamond they're really cool um, okay yes the Hade website, Heaven and Earth Designs website, had a 50% off sale just recently. I don't know exactly when it was, but it was just recently. And I couldn't resist, and I went and I got myself a pattern. And I'm going to show you it right here. I love this lion. Now, I'm not even sure what the name of it is right now. The name has escaped me, but... I did include the information on there if you if you looked he is so handsome and he reminds me of like a Narnian scene and you know me and Narnia I don't need to go into that anymore but um, I just thought that picture was so handsome and so lovely and I love wintry scenes and it is now almost winter can't believe that yes so I couldn't resist getting that pattern for myself really I don't know when I will ever ever stitch it it's gonna be probably a while but I couldn't resist it it was so so nice and so pretty um my funnest bit of news is that this last week I was surprised shocked delighted to receive and be sprinkled with some stitchy kindness by a floss tube viewer I was totally shocked and I was totally delighted and I just got to show you what this wonderful stitching fairy sent me I was so I was so happy and so tickled by it and I still I still think about it and I still want I still want to cry because I didn't expect it and it was so nice and um I gotta say, gotta call you out, Karen. You are lovely and you're wonderful, and I appreciate you so much and what you did. It was so kind and lovely, and I'm just, I'm just um, blessed by it. And um, I still haven't been able to get over it. I've just been really, really, really touched by your kindness. So I'm gonna show you what this wonderful stitching fairy sent to me. 
because it, it just it just kind of knocked my socks off. She sent me the Joan Elliott time traveler pattern, which I love. I I I love this pattern. It is just. It's so pretty, and there's so much to it. I'm, I've shown this to you before on my video, on a previous video, that I loved this pattern. I don't love it any less now. I love it more. And the fact that it was a gift from such, such an amazing, kind-hearted individual, it just makes me love it even more. She also sent me all of the floss and the beads and the krennic for it. I was just blown away. I'm, I'm, I'm still blown away. I'm still a little bit speechless over this gift. And um, so I am I'm eager. I'm very, very eager and excited to find the perfect piece of fabric for it. Um, some of my fabric is in storage for the time being, so I don't have all of it handy. But I really, I'm, I'm really excited to get going on this. And... It was such a joy. It was such a joy, and honestly, it blessed my heart. I was literally giddy for like three days. My family was looking at me like, "What? What? What's up with you?" I, I, I just, I just, I just kept going on and on, and, and I was just tickled by it. So, thank you so much again for for cheering me up, for giving me Christmas early, and starting off this season with with a, a huge bang. Um, I, I, that I'm just I'm just tickled pink. Um, okay, let me just make sure I've got everything in my notes. Oh yes, I was gonna say I did get a hair trim. It doesn't look like it, does it? it doesn't look like it. <clears throat> but I got about four inches off the bottom, so it would have been down to here. So I got a little bit of hair trim, and I've got to say, uh totally off topic maybe you don't care my hair has just experienced an amazing an amazing wahoo moment um ever since i went gluten free i've noticed that my hair was thinning extremely much and it was getting like this weird texture on it it was becoming like almost grippy it, it, not like sticky but like there was like a texture when i do this it'd be like grippy um I found out why and my hair is now back to its amazing former amazing silkiness silky silky um, I was using and I'm not disparaging this product at all because it works great for some people it just apparently doesn't work great for me um, when has a uh, when products w-e-n have conditioning shampoos which you can either wash with it or leave it in your hair and just one moment I'm going to adjust my window okay sorry I just realized it's totally dark outside and my window is wide open so I decided to close it um, they have conditioning shampoos and my mom uses it and absolutely loves it on her hair I was using it as a leave-in conditioner I didn't wash my hair with it because I had to use so much of it to go through all my length that it was just I couldn't get it all washed out and it would be really greasy looking so I would just put it on after I washed my hair after I got out of the tub I would just put it on from about here down um, a while just this within a month within the last month or so I bought a new conditioner from Herbal Essences called Herbal Essences Naked and I decided one day to just use that. I have two, I washed my hair twice. I use Herbal Essences um, Honey I'm Strong Conditioner and then I use Pantene, not Pantene Pro-V, Tresemme Moisture Shampoo. Um, and that works really good for me. My hair really feels good with that. I decided to use the Herbal Essences Conditioner one day and when I got out, I just didn't feel like putting on my wen. I was just feeling a little lazy. So I took a brush and I just gently, gently brushed through it to get it straight. And I had absolutely no tangles. None. No tangles at all. For me, with this length of hair to have absolutely no tangles is astonishing. Um, 
so I skipped the one completely. Later that evening, after my hair had been able to dry some, I went back in the bathroom and I brushed my hair again and I felt my hair and I looked in the mirror and I was absolutely stunned. My hair looked amazing. It was shiny again. It had been looking really dull and don't go by right now because I have styling stuff in it that has kind of taken some of the shine out. But it was shiny. It was shimmery. It was super, super slinky. My mom literally at the same time I noticed it passed by and said, what happened to your hair? It looks like it used to look. It looks really nice. So apparently the wen was like leaving a coating on my hair um, that was not doing well. Um, I'm not saying my hair is as thick as it was because it's not. It, I've lost a lot of hair since going gluten free. But the texture is really slinky smooth again. And I have shine back in my hair which was looking really, really dull. So I was really happy to find out that that was an amazing solution for um, I thought, man, my hair has just gotten really, really rough over the course of, of being gluten-free. It was actually a product I was putting in it. So now I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that I found out what I was doing wrong and now how I've been able to make it better and go back to when it was really nice and I got compliments on it all the time. I haven't gotten compliments on it in years and now it's back to the slinky, shiny and, and hopefully, um, Hopefully other people notice it now. I mean, maybe you can't, but maybe in person. I'm, I'm sure in person. Okay. That aside, because that's totally totally not even necessary to, to talk about that, but there you go. I mentioned that I bought some new, um, how do I say that? Accessories? I will say that. Accessories for some new scissor fobs. And this last week and a half, before I got stitching bug, <laughs> it really hit me hard, the stitching bug, which is great. Um, I made about a dozen new scissor fobs, and I've just listed them. And I've shown them if you are on Instagram and following me on Instagram. But for those of you who are not, I thought I would show you some of the new ones I just made. And hopefully you can see these well. Some of them, oh, they're so pretty. And I'm using some new beads that are awesome. And I'm trying to decide which one I should show first. So I'll just go with whatever I have. So this one is um, a dragonfly. And the colors are not showing up right at all. These beads are like a blue color on one side. And they're not showing up at all. They're blue on one side and like an Aurora borealis type on the other. They are um, new beads and these ones are like ovals. And the center bead is also a heart. And it's purple on one side and blue on the other. And again, it, the color is absolutely not showing up right. Uh, if, you went, if you go to my Etsy shop, the colors will show up a little bit better in the pictures on my Etsy shop. But I thought those those beads were so pretty, the different shapes, because I haven't really had those shapes before. So I thought they were a nice little switch up. And here is another one with a kitty cat theme. And this one is a more of those oblongy ones that are blue and um, a gray tone. And these really pretty bright blue... Um, metallic-y like ones and there's a cloudy bead in the center. I thought that one turned out really pretty. I actually made myself one of this one too. Actually, I made it, kept the first one and said, hmm, I better make a second one because that one's really pretty and it's not showing up well in this video. Much prettier in person. Much, much prettier. Here is another one. And here's a flower theme. And this again, the colors are not showing up right. Mm, this is disappointing. But this is a new flower bead in the center. New flower, crystal flower bead in the center. And these really pretty blue stones here are a brighter blue in person than they're showing up here. That one's really pretty. I, I really like this one a lot. And I just realized it's not hanging right. 
sorry, that's hanging right. Okay, that's hanging right. Then I've got this one, which is an owl theme. And this is a multicolor stone, and it, it changes as it flips. It changes to more color and then paler. So different colors in there. And then I got green stones and this new barrel shaped stone right in here, which in person is, it's got blue Aurora Borealis -y type look, and it's not showing up at all. But it's, you've got to trust me on this. It's, it's so much prettier in person. I've also got this one, which is totally unique. This is a baby carriage. I've never made one with a baby carriage before. And if you've looked at my shop, you've never, you've, you've noticed that. I've never made one with a baby carriage charm before. And this one has some multicolored stones here that go from pale to darker. It's got uh, different pearl beads in the center. And here is another barrel bead in a beigey, tanny tone. It, it's really pretty. And again, a lot prettier in person. And the pictures do show up better on my Etsy shop. Now these are the ones I'm most excited to show because these are totally different. These are totally different and unique. And I think they are so pretty. These are the first gold fobs I am selling. And it's got a beautiful cameo charm on the bottom with a dangling stone. And this one is all in purple and white pearls. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Honestly, I'd love to keep, I'd love to keep all of these, but I, I can't do it. So pretty. I love the cameo. And got to show you. I made one in green as well. I love this one. This one's my favorite of all the ones I made. And I'm just trying to straighten them up because you know how beads go. Sometimes they just, you gotta straighten them just a bit. But look at that cameo. And again, the gold, all the gold uh, beads and bead caps and all that. I don't know, this one's so pretty. I may have to make myself one of this one as well. So pretty, love that. So anyway, um, I am trying to keep my Instagram updated fairly, fairly often, but uh, I, I've been kind of hesitant to do too much on the Instagram because it makes my videos not quite as, as uh, anticipated. <laughs> but for some of you who don't do Instagram, it doesn't really matter and everything is new anyway. Um, I wanted to just thank all of my watchers, all of the people who comment. You guys are great. You guys are so encouraging. All of my new watchers who have just subscribed, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for giving me a chance. Um, I've got some lovely people out there who always have an encouraging word for me. You do not have to be a video maker to be an important part of Floss Tube and to be a valued part of Floss Tube because all of you watchers, you're very special and I really appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for coming back again. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Um, hopefully I will have another video before the holidays come because I'm going to have some finishes to show you. I want to show you some FFOs and uh, hopefully I'll have some more interesting things to share. So until I see you next time, thanks so much for being you. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for just being there and being here. And I will see you next time. So ciao for now.